Hi all. For those who are interested in connecting the FM3 with some SPDIF cables with your interface, sound interface and through logic, here's a little quick video about how to set it up with all the cables and converters. So once again, here we have the SPDIF out from the FM3. We have my Firebase 800 converter sound interface converts with the cables of the old Firewire 800 and I'm using for that this cable original from Apple Firewire to Thunderbolt 2 because my iMac is still using Thunderbolt 2 connection but you can also go to from Firewire 800 to Thunderbolt 2 and then even to USB 4 or Thunderbolt 3 I think it's called on the newer Macs. Um, the digital cables, the digital coax cables, these are those and here are my Firewire 800 as I said, we are going to connect this cable in the SPDIF out, so there, and the other side will go into my fire phase 800 on the back side. Here we have the back side of the RME, and as you can see, let me zoom in, as you can see, SPDIF input the white one so that's where the connection will go next step will be to connect the firewire 800 cable in the firewire 800 input of course And on the other side, that one will come in this converter cable by Apple. So, and this side of the cable will go in my iMac Thunderbolt 2. Here you'll see the lineouts. 7 and 8. I will be using those for my speakers, stereo jacks balanced and these are the balanced jacks which I use for my speakers. They will come in output 7 8 of the fire face. As you can see the balance line TRS, the outputs I will be using 7 and 8 and channels 9 and 10 are the phones, headphones. So as you can see the power I've got here the Firewire cable 800 cable with the converter connected to my iMac. The left right balanced out to my speakers, studio monitors and the SPDIF input coming from the FM3. So here we have Logic Pro X and let's go to our recording settings, audio and you can see the output device is the Fireface 800. I could even go straight to the FM3 because it's also connected by USB to my computer but I'm using that only for FM3 edits so I'm not choosing that I just stay with the digital Fireface. Latency you can see here 2.7 is very low and that's good. I've got even the buffer size put on 32 but 128 is even fine with all the tracks I'm using so let me just keep it that way. If I select 
like this i won't hear anything from the fm3 coming signal i have to connect put on the input monitoring and then i will have a signal let me show that to you so i just connected my jack without guitar so you can already see here a signal coming let me so so i'm using this way only when i select my input monitoring else i will have two signals straight from the fm3 coming in and this one together they don't sound right of course and you can see it here i'm using the input 11 and 12 those are the ones from my SPDIF, that's the channel of on the Fireface 800, channel 11 and 12 are the SPDIF inputs, so that's why this, I could do it also in mono, left or right 11 or 12, but I'm using stereo. Let me show you the Total Mix app, and here is SPDIF, the volume is off, like I explained, so that is the FM3 part connected here on the SPDIF. Let me change the name of it. It's called FM3. So I know this is the FM3 coming up. Volume on zero, not to have two signals going to my speaker out. And then we have, of course, also our software playbacks like YouTube, Logic and stuff. You see here channel one and two going to seven, eight, my main speaker outs. Channel 1 and 2 are, for example, YouTube played on my computer. So, for example, if I have a backing track, here is YouTube. So, playing. You see here the volume of it going to 7, 8. My main signal here. Here we have channel 7 and 8. This is the channels from Logic. So, let me stop YouTube. YouTube stopped, so volume goes off. And if I play something on Logic, like uh, just a loop playing, and you see here, this is Logic's channel 7, 8, also going here. So the good thing is, if I play now guitar, I just connect an empty jack without guitar, so you will hear some buzzing. So, that's the buzz coming. You see, this is my FM3 or out. So, here it is. And of course, on the Total Mix app, again, my FM3 sounding through this one, not here, the volume is off. It's coming through Logic to my main outs. Off.